Americans get 58% of their calories from ultra processed foods. So in today's video, I'm gonna make sure that I'm eating mostly ultra processed foods. Like my body is rejecting this food right now. It's saying, don't. I already hate myself for making this decision. As we go throughout the day today, I'm gonna to use this app right here. There's a little chip in my arm and I'm gonna measure how healthy the food is. So after about two hours after I eat the meal, I will update you on the healthy rating of the food via this app. Vitamin D milk. Eating is something that I do almost every day, and the food choices that we make help decide whether we're productive, feel good, and have energy throughout the day. Yet 52% of Americans think it's easier to do their taxes than it is to make healthy food choices. So I wanna put the standard American diet to the test. Sad for short. That's probably how I'm gonna feel at the end of today. My parents immigrated here to be a true American. First to become a doctor, and second to eat Honey Nut Cheerios for breakfast every day. So, for our standard American breakfast, Honey Nut Cheerios and some nice whole milk. Two in three adults are obese or overweight, and what they say is that the best way to fix that is with your diet. And as a real American, you always come prepared with your bowl and your spoon. We're gonna enjoy Honey Nut Cheerios just like I did as a kid. And more importantly, as a New Yorker, you don't have time to eat. So we gotta eat outside while we're walking to our next, next destination. A little bit of whole milk in there. You know a lot, let's just put it all in there. Now this packaging and the marketing of most standard American diet foods makes it look like it's healthy, right? It's got a heart, it must be really good for your cholesterol and heart health, but this does have added sugars, but also it might be a little bit high in calories and there's not much protein in your breakfast. Let's try it out. It's been a while since I've had Cheerios here. Mmm, just eating Cheerios in the middle of the street. Oh, well, this is so good. It makes sense why I craved this as a kid. So I would view this more as a dessert for breakfast type of meal. The best alternative I like to think is, is getting eggs. If you go to your local grocery store, you can actually buy pre-cooked eggs. These ones are hard boiled and you have to peel them. But most grocery stores will have peeled hard boiled eggs that you can just buy and eat it straight out of the bag if you want. Right, you get your good amount of proteins. If you're vegan or vegetarian, you can find a nice high protein alternative. And even better is you can try intermittent fasting. Skip breakfast altogether. It saves you time saves you money, and you can focus on having a high protein, healthy meal for lunch and dinner. Oh yeah, this is so good. I, I should start eating this every day, right? So I'm gonna use this app here called Vary, and this continuous glucose monitor called the Freestyle Libre to measure how healthy is this meal. Are you a person who puts their milk first or the cereal first? If it's milk, you're a cereal. And we're done. Now that breakfast is over, first thing Americans like to do is get a nice coffee. We're gonna head to the number one coffee joint in America, and that is Starbucks. Now, it wouldn't be a Sherman Shares video if we didn't go to the smartest Starbucks in the world. We are at the Amazon Go location. One of the most popular coffee drinks in America is the latte. We're gonna order an iced cafe latte. Instead of 2% milk, we're going to do oat milk because that is marketed to be healthy, but oat milk is the new Coca-Cola. $6.26 for a coffee. Boom. Now it's gonna say see you soon, so we'll wait in the smartest Starbucks in the world. A big part of being American is snacking, and Cliff Bars seem to be healthy, but these things have like 20 grams of added sugars. If that's the case, I might as well grab a candy bar and eat that instead, because really, what's the difference? So yeah, since this is an Amazon Go, you can pretty much steal here. I'm gonna shove it in my pocket. I'll see you later. Don't tell, the, don't tell security. Is there a coffee for Shervin? Thank you so much. This is an oat milk latte packed with sugar and caffeine, and this is sure about to wake me up right now. Oh, I feel like typically when you have a breakfast that will spike your glucose and then crash your energy, the first thing you wanna do is grab a cup of coffee with oat milk that will do the same thing once again. And this is all because we're getting a lack of sleep. The average American will get five to six hours of sleep when the National Sleep Foundation recommends seven to nine hours of sleep. So to be an average American, I made sure to get about six hours of sleep last night, so that way that would impact how my body responds to the food that we're eating today. One of the best ways to get good sleep that's free is just see the sunlight in the morning, watch the sunset, go out for a walk, get a little bit of light exercise, see people that you love, and make sure to stay hydrated, especially when you're drinking coffee, because this is a diuretic. It's gonna make you go to the restroom more, and when we do that, we're gonna lose our salts, we're gonna lose water. So another thing is 43% of Americans drink less than four cups of water per day. That is absurd. You need to make sure to stay hydrated. Scott, Stacy. Go drink your water. Stay hydrated, get good sleep, and swap out your oat milk for some less sugary milk options in your coffee. And maybe even skip the coffee altogether. Matcha is a good alternative, all black coffee is great, and no coffee is probably the best option for most. So being a child of immigrants, one of the most important things is to make your parents proud. If you can't do that, you're a disappointment in life. And requires a lot of mental effort. 
And for me to get through that mental effort, I like to stick to coffee. That helps me stay focused throughout the day, stay productive. And then on the days that I don't get enough sleep, coffee is like the first thing I like to grab. And the big thing I've realized is that it's kind of like a crutch. If I'm not getting my foundations right, coffee is like a crutch I like to lay on when I'm trying to fix these foundational problems. And the next time you go to grab a cup of coffee, what is it doing for you? Are you drinking it out of enjoyment? Are you drinking it out of necessity to stay awake throughout the day? Or is it actually helping you in your life? So the average American sits about 6.5 hours a day. So I'm gonna grab a nice little snack here and go ahead and sit for 6.5 hours and then we'll go grab lunch at McDonald's. Oh, <laughs> thank you. What a smooth exit. So the standard American diet gets you standard American diseases. And when you get standard American diseases, you'll have to ride on one And if you're someone like me who struggles with lower back pain, the best way that I try to alleviate all the sitting I do throughout the day is getting up every like 50 minutes. You know, my Apple Watch will vibrate and tell me to stand up and walk around. Or I'll switch between sitting at my desk, standing at a desk, and just the ability to change postures throughout the day. The sun shines right through that building, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't that crazy? All right, I spent six and a half hours sitting at a desk now. It's time to go get lunch. We're going to get lunch at America's Greatest Restaurant with Ronald McDonald. Could I get a Happy Meal, please? Actually, sorry, I'm on a sad diet. I can't get that. Um, could I get a Big Mac sandwich and a fries? And then do you guys have apple pie? Could I get that as well? All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Americans spend 10% of their disposable income on fast food. And in America, McDonald's is number one. So today we're gonna eat and drink a lot of sugary foods and french fries. This meal is as American as apple pie. Americans consume over 77 grams of sugar on a daily basis, added sugar that is. And in this meal itself, there is about 50 to 60 grams of added sugars. So one of the best alternatives I would say to a, your cheap and easy McDonald's is to go to like Chipotle or Sweet Green. They're still technically fast food, but they'll be a little bit healthier in terms of your macros and your sugar intake when you go to these places. Welcome to this episode of Morgan Spurlock and Super Size Me. Mmm, it tastes so good. And now I understand why you can't resist it. This, is, this tastes like America. I'm no longer sad, I'm so happy. But I bet in 10 minutes I'm gonna feel, mmm, living the American dream right now. My energy's going low. Like, I don't even want to do this video anymore. I already regret this. I regret this video and this meal. But if you listen to Daddy Huberman, he says that every time you have sugar, it's going to increase your appetite and you're going to want to eat more. So eating a meal with a lot of hidden sugars, especially like something like this, I'm going to want to have more food and eat more and have higher calories. I think it's important to build awareness in terms of what meals have sugar and try to cut those down a little bit, especially the hidden ones. I feel less energetic in this video. I'm really curious, like how bad can the standard American diet be? And two meals and one coffee, and I'm already like ready to just not, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, how do we get here? We're in a car. But the average American walks around 3,000 steps a day, which is about 1.25 miles. So we decided since we have to go two blocks, we'll take a car instead and we got to save our mileage for another day. But one of the most important things is that if you wanna minimize that glucose response from your uh, unhealthy meals, it's really important to walk right after you eat. Getting your steps in is just a really easy way to get, to get some little amount of exercise, keep your body moving, and minimize any kind of glucose responses and keep stable energy throughout the day. Even just like helping with focus, mood, walking is free, get it done. Now that I'm feeling super tired and lethargic, I'm gonna take a nap before it's dinner time. I'm exhausted. I don't feel good and I'm hungry. I think we're gonna have to go get pizza to finish off dinner. The average American, <laughs> the, the average American, <laughs> you average American. The average American eats 3,600 calories a day, which is over the recommended 2,200 or whatever. And we need to eat that much. So we're in New York, we're gonna get New York pizza. And I hope that this is a lesson, a guiding light to really just eat whole foods, eat, eat food that's like in the whole food section, right? bananas, blueberries, lettuce, kale, spinach, just eat real food um, and you'll just feel better. I'm surprised literally like six hours of eating processed food and my body's like shutting down. I don't know why, send help. Turn on your notifications as well, by the way, right there. Let's go get pizza. Oh, that's gorgeous.
All right, we are about to fill up our calorie count. Can I get the barbecue, ch uh, the barbecue chicken and uh, Suprema, please? Let's fill up our bellies. All right, now that we've got our dinner pizza ready, the first thing I wanna do is understand how is our breakfast, our coffee, and our lunch. So I'm gonna use this app right here. We're gonna scan the chip that's inside of my body. Boom. And as you can see right here, this is the emotional roller coaster. Pretty much my mental health is that line right there. And if you were to guess, breakfast cereal was an eight out of 10. That's a bit surprising. So it seems to rank it relatively high. The oat milk latte. There's definitely a peak on the oatmeal latte, another eight out of 10. That is interesting. And then finally, the McDonald's. There's a wave, it's a seven out of 10. Having a good metabolic fitness where you can keep sustained energy throughout the day, having like a sustained glucose throughout the day will make you feel better overall. And it seems like these foods created these big spikes and big dips in my energy and overall how I feel. So the last thing is I'm gonna add this pizza right here. Add meal, take a photo, pizza, New York City done. I will come back here and I will let you know, is this meal healthy or not? We'll find out in two and a half hours. We'll get a nice rating. But until then, we got to enjoy this pizza. And obviously after the pizza, I started to crave more food. So I ended up getting the eating the cookie and it looks like the cookie got a six out of 10. As you can see, the pizza here got a six out of 10, which is not ideal. It's kind of like a D. Very gave me a daily score of 65, which is a D. So I didn't do that well in terms of my metabolic health of that day. Make sure you get enough sleep, stay hydrated, eat whole foods and go for a walk. And then go watch this video where I tried the most expensive meal prep service. It's supposed to be all whole foods. It's super convenient. Linked right below. Turn on your post notifications.